Hey, what's up guys? It's Arm Alieri and I'm back with another video in the Rode Microphones Podcaster series. This is a video series where we go through the entire line of Rode Microphone uh, accessories for the Podcaster uh, Studio Mic. Uh, in this segment, we have the Studio Arm. It's the actual boom that you attach to your desk or your table and uh, you can articulate uh, the microphone. So this guy will work with a, a, a whole bunch of different uh, microphones from Rode. Uh, but in this video series, we're covering the podcaster. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, please go ahead and click through the links, the annotations, and check out the rest of the videos so you can see uh, all of the different pieces, the unboxings, and of course, check out the final video that shows it all put together with the audio quality comparisons. So um, let's go ahead and unbox this. You can see this beautiful package from Rode. This is a company based out of Australia that makes amazing professional uh, quality microphones and accessories. Thank you very much again, Rode, for sending this uh, for me to show the community. Uh, it's an excellent quality um, package, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's take a look around the uh, the box. You can see a little bit about it here. I'm going to go ahead and spin it around so we can see what it has to say. So the studio arm is a professional way to mount your microphone to a worktop or a studio desk, and that's exactly what I've been looking for. Uh, it will rotate 360 degrees with a maximum reach of uh, 820 millimeters horizontally and 840 uh, vertically. So it's got a nice uh, forward and up and down reach. Uh, the adapter is a 3 8 inch and it can hold up to 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds within it on its mic. Uh, there are two different mounting options included and it has a two axis swivel mount for uh, the most accurate positioning guys. So there's quite a bit to this. Uh, it's a really, really awesome uh, studio arm, and I'm excited to show it to you guys. So let's go ahead and open her up so you can see what's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that down there. The box is right here, and as usual, i got to figure out how to open it. <laughs> I don't script my videos, guys, in case you haven't noticed by now. I like shooting from the hip. It's uh, more authentic and... Uh, I don't know, it just seems cooler. So here you go, you can kind of see a little bit of what's inside. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some stuff out and see what's there. First little piece popped out right here. Looks like um, some mounting hardware. Let's take a look at that. Pretty awesome there, you can see it says Rode. Guys, kind of shiny, awesome mount there. I'm gonna put that to the side and continue pulling out some stuff. Looks like here we have the instruction manual. I'll definitely need that because we have all of these pieces to put together. There you can see the podcaster, you can see the shock mount, and this is the studio arm and then the attachment for the desk. Uh, so we're going to take a look at those instructions, but it does show you how to set everything up. Um, you can drill a hole in the desk uh, to get it ready, and we'll, we'll work through those and show you that coming up. So let's go ahead and pull the rest of it out. See some more hardware falling out. Looks like another nut. And let's see what else we got. Guys. More hardware. And let's show you that one. See what we got here. So this is probably the 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 setup that I'm going to use. It looks like it's a clamp, guys. So I don't really know if I'm going to be drilling a hole into my desk, but uh, this is more feasible for me. Pretty awesome here. You can see it's a clamp that allows you to clamp it to your desk instead of having to drill a hole. So looks like a road's done some nice thinking here. And underneath you can feel it's really soft, velvety feel material, so it's not going to scratch your desk or anything. That's another piece of the hardware there. We'll continue to get some goodies out of the box for you guys. And go ahead and put that down. Here is the rest of the studio arm. So there isn't much else in this box. Uh, it looks like it's not going to be as difficult as I thought. I do have a degree, uh, but I was sweating it a little bit. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the boom arm. See what's inside, guys. 
So as we begin to peel away the bubble wrap, it's very nicely packaged in case you haven't noticed. Um, oops, sorry about that. But you can see it is a black uh, boom uh, studio arm. So uh, that's going to actually look great with the rest of my office. Uh, everything I have is in black. It comes with uh, some precautionary uh, information there. It is spring-loaded, so once you take it apart, it is going to try and pop open. But we have some really nice Velcro straps here that say Rode uh, on both sides, and then some more of the uh, mounting hardware here, guys. It looks like this is where you would mount the uh, shock mount up there, and then uh, this is the actual spring arm. So there is everything that you're going to get with the uh, PSA-1 um, studio arm. So I'll go ahead and lay it down so you can see everything there. Pretty simple and straightforward, guys. There isn't much to it. If you're going to go ahead and drill a hole in your desk, it looks like that would be the parts that you need here. And if you're just going to clamp it, then you would use that together um, there. So again, this is the PSA-1 studio arm from Rode Microphones. Please do check them out on the web, uh, on Twitter at Road Mics. Follow them if you have questions or comments. And myself, R. Malieri, on Twitter. If you have questions or comments, you can hit me up there or leave them in the uh, section below, and I'll try to answer your questions. As always, please do rate, comment, and subscribe as it helps me with my video production for you guys. And until the final video in the series with the fully assembled podcaster mic and setup, this has been R. Malieri. Thanks for watching.